Okay, Nicole, you're up. You're in the hot seat, so to speak. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right. Now, if you've looked at some of the other videos that I've included in uh, my critiques, you'll notice that I am following this uh, very similar formula. And I, I'm going to do the same here. The first thing I want to do is I want to go through the list of requirements. It just seems that students are really struggling with what is required in this assignment. So, so it, you know, despite my attempts to I mean, I really went through a lot of um, uh, videos and, and I really, really spent a lot of time putting together these four announcements right here. And there's a ton of tutorials and all sorts of stuff in here. So be sure to take a look at these four tutorials. These will pretty much pave the, the, the road for success for the rest of the term. So definitely do whatever you need to do to take time to watch all of the videos and all of the resources in these four videos. Okay, now let's talk about requirements. Now the requirements I've got listed over here in my little, this is just like a little cheat sheet I'm using, but these requirements are right out of this page right here, week four, assignment four, part one, specifically from the instructions, the objectives, and the design requirements. Okay, so if I'm going through these, this is where I'm getting all of these requirements. All right, so let's go through your work and let's go ahead and, and see what is 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 um, the requirements. But first of all, now this is design in everyday life, right? So this is, you're supposed to select an object, okay? And if we go over to here, um, poster include one paragraph that takes this, what, why this object or artifact, what it means to you, why you picked it and why it's important. Okay, so what this is saying is you're going to select an object, okay? Um, let me see if that's covered here. Hang on one second. Yep, right here. To begin, you must select a designed object or artifact from everyday life, okay? A designed object, all right? Potty training is not an object. It's an activity. It's not designed. I mean, you can design potty training, sure, but it's not a tangible design that we can look at, okay? So this is not an object. Right now, before we look at this, we see, okay, it would seem that the toilet is what you're talking about, okay? So you have to determine what object, not activity, what object you want to depict, all right? Um, so that really, I mean, it's just, to, the, 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 that's where I think the the, the project falls apart. I think it falls apart because you're trying to um, uh, um, depict an activity in here as opposed to an, a designed object. Okay, the rest will fall into place. So let me just go through these uh, requirements. You'll see what I mean. So the object must be dominant. So right now, this composition before reading anything is saying the main topic here is the toilet. Okay, object must be shown with somebody using it or interacting with it. We don't have that. Okay must show an image which is the result of using the object. We don't have that. Must show at least two components of the object. Don't have that. I mean, what are components? One could be maybe the toilet seat, the other could be the flusher handle, right? Must show at least two components. Must include design in everyday life, got that. Um, must include a paragraph of body copy and captions. Now these captions, I guess these are captions, but they're not presented, uh, this is a different typeface here, so there were, there's no consistency in, in these. The captions should describe basically, not just name what you see, but just kind of a little description. My recommendation is to set the captions in smaller type than the body copy and set the captions on italic just to further um, differentiate those from body copy. Okay, uh, uh, white background, seven by 15, you got that. Image must come in contact with the edge of the page somewhere twice, you got that, there, there, okay. Your design must combine images that are in boxes as part of a background and cropped individually. Right now we don't have anything in boxes. Now boxes means basically containers, right? So it could be a circle, it could be um, a square, whatever the situation calls for. But we don't have that. These are all cropped individually from their background. This, I guess, is a box, but that's, uh, I'm not real sure about the shape of that. Does it have, is it related to the subject matter at all? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, okay. All right. So as far as typography goes, um, this is justified type. 
we do have some unusual spacing in here. And uh, right here, see, we can see in some lines the, the type is a little bit more condensed than others. Not bad at all. It's not bad at all. It really isn't. But see, for instance, there's a big space between right here, he and is. Um, and there's some other areas that, that spacing is an issue. And the reason, that almost looks like there's two spaces after the period. But you now, again, back in the announcements here, how to justify paragraphs correctly. Definitely want to take a look at that. Okay, um, design in everyday life. That's pretty good. Um, typographically, though, we've got that. We want to adjust that. Uh, we want to get those uh, um, captions um, consistent. And then design in everyday life. That looks pretty good, but... I don't see much kerning going on here. I see a little bit, but a lot of this could be kerned like right there. There's a big space there. There's a big, huge space between the D and the and, and the E in design. So watch your rules of kerning. Not bad at all, but definitely there's some areas that need to be adjusted there. In. So as you can see, the main thing here is the subject matter as well as the requirements. For that reason, I, I'm going to recommend that you, you, you really think about a, a different approach here. Now, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. It's really super important that you get with me. But you want to take a look at those announcements, definitely, from here up. Welcome to week four, all four of these. And then also take a look at the examples. And this fourth uh, announcement right here, how to complete assignment four, I give you some great examples. I dissect and deconstruct this ad and describe why it's so successful. You definitely want to take a look at that. And then, of course, there are some uh, examples in the Welcome to Week 4 announcement as well. So let's get in those announcements and really pay, pay, uh, spend some time in there until, until, until you really are completely clear on exactly what is uh, required. Now, let's take a look at the, the title area. See that design in every day? So it looks like you're starting to attempt a typographic composition area. That's fantastic. This is very successful. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. So that's kind of what you're shooting for, something like that, right? So keep working on that typographic composition. Um, I also wanted to mention, oh, you did something very smart in here. It's going to take bribes and reward charts. Now, you've used all caps. Now, I don't know if small caps, it looks, I'm not sure if these are all caps that are reduced in size or if they're small caps. So, But we do have in the welcome to week four, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, welcome to week four video. I do show you how to set um, all caps versus small caps. So we want, to, we want to look at that as well, okay? All right, so I know I've given you plenty to think about. So I, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Okay, thank you very much.